Live multicam is Final Cut Pro for iPad 2's biggest new feature, and well, guess what this is currently being recorded on. Really quickly, what Live Multicam is, it allows you to set up a multicam setup using up to four iPhones like I've got here, and you can monitor and control those devices from your iPad. After that, the moment you cut cameras, you have a multicam sequence already in Final Cut Pro for iPad 2. We're gonna go on a bit of a multicam drive in a bit. I've got four iPhones rigged up here in my car. I've got one pointing at me here, second one pointing at me here, one out the window, and another one shooting the screen of my iPad. Now I have heard of this thing called screen recording that exists on iPad, but I've opted to waste an angle to film it so you see exactly what I see because screen recording wasn't really showing how fluid the preview of live multicam really is wirelessly on the iPad. That's why pointing a camera at it, there's no way to hide it, there's no dispute about it, you're looking at what I'm seeing. So I'm running Final Cut Pro for iPad 2 on the M2 12.9 inch iPad Pro, so not even the latest version, but as you can see, it's really going quite smoothly. And what Final Cut Pro for iPad 2's live multicam interface allows me to do is have total remote control over my camera. So this is the one that's looking out my windshield. And now that I've started recording, I can't change lenses anymore, but before I started recording, it is possible. So now what I can do is adjust the exposure. I can have full manual exposure over my cameras, or I can have the usual auto exposure with tap to expose, but there's also this slider that lets me dial in an EV offset. Manual focus as well, I can have it on autofocus or I can manually set the focus to a preset distance. I also have control over my white balance. I'm just gonna leave it on auto for now because we're gonna be driving around. By the way, as you're monitoring, if you've set this up to record in HDR, you will be seeing an HDR preview right here on the iPad. So it's transmitting a live HDR signal wirelessly. Another cool thing about pointing a camera at my iPad preview here is I can show you how low the latency is. Now this is all happening over Wi-Fi because for live multicam to work you will need all your devices to be connected to a Wi-Fi network. So I've got one of these iPhones here being a Wi-Fi hotspot but there we go. The delay between what's happening and what gets received on your preview is really really quite low. Right so let's actually go ahead and go on that drive. I'm just gonna shove my iPad into my footwell down here and let's go as I talk you through some more features of Final Cut Pro for iPad as we go along. Let's exit this parking lot here. Not gonna cost me a fortune, I hope. Okay, one ring it, not bad. As we pull out into the main road, where I intend to drive you is what I believe to be one of the coolest streets in Kuala Lumpur. And we're stuck at a traffic light with this prototype tram that they're testing. It's got this vehicle is under testing printed right on the side of it. I might as well make a remark on live multicam oak green now. And that you can actually trigger recording from any one of the connected iPhones. So you can connect up to four iPhones and by default you can start the recording from any one of the four iPhones. Oh, that turned red really quick. Or the iPad that's connected. So you can trigger recording for all devices from any iPhone or from the iPad. There's also an option to disable that. So it's only possible to start the recording from the iPad's end. This is a street that's like perfectly straight and you can imagine there's plenty of intersections so there's also plenty of traffic lights which gives me plenty of opportunities to talk you through the features here. Um, what actually happens when you start recording a live multicam session is all the iPhones begin recording a local copy of the footage but it's also streaming a preview at a lower resolution to your iPad. That's how you're able to monitor it live from the iPad. Now the iPad actually also records a local copy of that lower resolution streamed in preview. So this way, the moment you end your recording, you already have some proxy footage almost to work with right on your timeline within Final Cut Pro for iPad. 
while that's happening, the iPhones could be transferring the full resolution 4K footage, well, up to 4K footage if you shoot at maximum quality. And it's basically every device firing on all cylinders, really. With compatible iPhones, currently that would be the 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max, you can actually do live multicam in Apple Log in ProRes 422 HQ. Now, file sizes would be bigger, but if you want the absolute best quality, you can go ahead and do that. Otherwise, you can do live multicam in SDR or HDR. But the catch of live multicam is it maxes out at 30 frames per second. And we're at a roundabout here. So I'm just, I don't know, I'm one of those people who my primary focus is on driving, so if I'm talking while driving and something stressful comes up, my, my speech just kind of shuts down. And check that out right up ahead. Bit of traffic here, it's a popular spot. It's basically one big roundabout with, it, with, with very pretty views. It's a pretty big roundabout. That guy's going head to head with the boss. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Something else that's super neat and helpful about the way the live multicam experience is designed is you can turn on this setting called camera indicators and from your iPad's heads up display you see the remaining capacity on each iPhone expressed in terms of minutes. This is adaptive. It changes according to the resolution, frame rate and codec you have opted to record in as well as the remaining battery level. So it takes a lot of anxiety out of things as you're recording, especially when you have unmanned cameras, you don't have operators behind them and they're just mounted somewhere which could potentially be out of reach. Like this one angle here, the back of it is pointing at me so I can't see the screen. And it's very helpful to be able to monitor that from the iPad. Obviously I'm not monitoring it on my iPad now because I'm driving, but I've got a camera pointed at the iPad for you to look at what I'm talking about. And this red is taking a while. Thanks to the power of editing, you don't have to sit through the whole thing like I have to right here. But it should go without saying that everything you're watching here, I'd have already edited using Final Cut Pro for iPad. Oh, chill. <laughs> okay. So if you're wondering, what the editing process is like, you'll find out really quickly. And now that I have parked my car, let me end the recording and show you what it looks like when we move on to post. The moment I end the recording, it's possible to start transferring the local footage from the iPhones to my iPad FCP project. It's also possible to defer the file transfer process till later when it's more convenient to do so, especially when the quantity of data happens to be a lot to handle out in the field. Before the files finish transferring, you can already start multicam editing with the 720p previews, which was recorded on your iPad. In a sense, those are proxies. The actual time it takes to transfer was a lot less than I anticipated, really. It kicked off and I went to brew a nice hot mug of cafe latte, and it was all done by the time I was back. Less than 10 minutes for close to 25 gigabytes of footage, it was four cameras worth of video running 4K for around 36 minutes. But the multicam editing experience on Final Cut Pro for iPad 2 is pretty full-fledged. You can bring up the multicam panel and you get this four up view at the bottom. Then you can begin adding cuts as you change camera angles in real time. You can also use the keyboard shortcuts one, two, three, four to perform these cuts. You can also set the switcher to switch only mode. This way you're only changing the angle of the selector clip without actually splitting it. When it comes to audio controls, you can solo the audio from one specific angle. So no matter what angle is visually shown, the audio still comes from that one angle you soloed. For my case, it would make sense to solo the audio from this angle. That's the one where I'm talking to the camera because this is the one where I'm mic'd up and the audio is actually being sent to the iPhone. You can also just choose to mute or enable each individual channel's audio, so on, off. You can also have the audio kick in for an angle only when it gets shown. That's this one here, it's called auto switch. 
In a sense, if you enable this for every clip, you get AFV, audio follows video. And if you hit edit angles, it lets you apply adjustments or effects to the individual angles. So for example, if I were to drag and drop a color adjustment effect onto this top clip here, and I go to my effects and I apply any adjustments, it affects only that angle. And of course that would also trickle down every time this clip shows up in my multicam edits, these edits will be applied. I can also come back and do any blanket adjustments to just the angles, even after I've chopped up my multicam sequence into the different angles. This page also lets you tweak the synchronization of the clips manually, which I thought was pretty neat. And you could be doing this all just moments after you finish recording. It's astonishingly streamlined and the speed that's possible with this, you could have a multicam sequence shot and delivered on set using just a bunch of iPhones and an iPad. I would say this is yet another one of those uniquely Apple experiences. And remember, you're not confined to finishing this multicam edit on your iPad. If you want the multicam to be part of an even bigger project on the Mac version of FCP, you can export this and open the project file on a Mac. So that's live multicam on Final Cut Pro for iPad 2. I'm making a separate video which takes a closer look at the filming experience when using Final Cut Camera for iPhone. It's actually possible to use that as a standalone Pro video app for free. I'll put a link to that video for anyone interested and I'll be seeing you around.